Hello, I'm Cal, welcome. This is a response video, I've had quite a few people ask me now how to use the old drive once they've upgraded to a faster one. You know, they change from SSD to NVMe or mechanical drive to SSD. They want to know how to get rid of the old Windows partitions and things like that and make it clean. We're going to do this old school, just using your own computer uh, with no third party software. We're just going to talk you through how to do that. You need your old drive plugged in and your computer booted up and let's get started. Firstly then go to the search area in the bottom left hand corner and just type in disk management and that will bring up this box here and it shows you all your disks here. We'll just extend this a little bit. So we've got disk 0, 1, 2 and 3 so if you've got more drives than this presume you haven't because you've just upgraded so our main drive the C drive is disk 1 what I want to utilize is disk 3 this is the one that I want to wipe so make sure you choose and remember the right disk number because this is essential I'm not going to be responsible for any data that you lose if you follow these instructions you've got to be confident in what you're actually doing with this one disk E you've got all different separate segregations that you've got on here call them partitions so if you've got this one here for Botus Error I've called it because it's got some nice software on this one uh, gaming software but I'm just going to be using this as, a, as an example because I keep getting asked the same question that's why I'm doing this video so on here it's in a different format which is FAT32 so it's not even showing the right space that we've got because we've actually got 220 gigabytes left on this one it's only showing just under three gigabytes so what we need to do is wipe um, the partitions off and then use the whole disk space as new storage basically so we'll be using the command line for this so in the bottom left hand corner just type cmd and that brings this nice window up here where we can actually just type in all the different commands that we're going to be needing so first of all just type in disk Part and just select yes on here and that will give us access to the little bit of software that we're going to be using within the command prompt so just type in list disk and that'll give us a list of all the disks that we've got so as we said earlier as I said earlier You've got to make sure that you're selecting the right disk and this is disk 3 that I want to use so it's showing the more or less the right volume there 223 so disk 3 is the one that I need you need to establish which disk that you need on your disk it might be greyed out on here that's normal for a boot up drive um, I'm just using this SSD as an example so yours might be greyed out and you might not be able to access these different partitions that's normal that's fine we're just going to go through these different instructions and it will release all these for you so we need to uh, just type in select disk and then you type the number that you want in my instance it's three yours might be different so that's disk three has now been selected that's the one that I want. Now I'm going to type in list disk just to make sure. So there's a little asterisk appeared there. This is definitely the one that I'm going to be using for the commands. Okay, so just double check that you've got the right disk. Okay, you haven't. Start from the beginning again. Or just type select the right disk that you want. Yeah, select disk, the correct number. So once you're confident you've got the right disk selected with the right asterisk next to it just type in clean and it says this part succeeded in cleaning this disk okay and you can see that it's automatically updated here as unallocated so it's using the whole of the drive here okay so we're not completely finished yet type in create partition create partition primary 
now it's gone into a blue so it's raw primary partition which is good that's what we want and now we just need to type in a sign you see it's popped up there local disk e so it's actually going to be recognized on system now as a new fresh piece of healthy storage so on here all we need to do now is just I think it's end now exit okay so that's close and then just put exit on here as well and there we are that's that one now so what we can do now is just go into file select the one that we want which is e it's not it's, the name's disappeared now what we can do is right click on here and then just select format and then format it to how we want it i'm just going to reformat this and press start and then press ok and it's going to for, quickly format it into the the right format so it's no longer fat32 so that's it all done you can use this now as, as normal storage so i hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe my name's cal have a good morning afternoon or good evening farewell till next time and i'll see you later goodbye for now